What is going on guys, you're here from Maji and Jay. Today coming with some of the stuff that you really enjoy here from my channel and I'm talking about some replicas. I got so far two replicas. I have the Huawei Mate 20 Pro here in the background if you guys haven't noticed it. And then we got here the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus replica. Supposedly this is the one to one to the real deal which is the one that I have right here. This is the AT&T model blue color and it came with a case. I'm talking about the replica, it came with this case which is a slightly bigger than my Samsung Galaxy S10 from AT&T. So anyways, let's go ahead here and take a look at the box itself. But before that, let's go ahead and take this cover off. As you guys can see, I have held all my temptations to open it. So I don't know what to expect. Now, according to my provider, guys, this device is a perfect one-to-one -one Starting here from the box, with the exception of that film that you just saw, um, here on the front side, we can see that it is leveled exactly as the original one. We have the pluses on the same spot, but now I can tell that while well, the colors on the font do look a little bit different. On the side here, we have nothing, but it does have even that little white uh, line right there, so you guys can appreciate. So this time they paid a lot of attention to details. Now here, this box could be imitating the international version of the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. This is the at t version, so the back looks a little bit different. And on the side here, we have the Samsung logos, and they are embedded on the actual box which makes it look very, very close to the real deal. And you guys can see that the box sizes are identical. So anyways, just not to get you confused, this is the real box, this is the fake box. Let's go ahead and check and see what comes inside, guys. So here we have the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus replica. I can tell you already that it is quite heavy and it seems to be a little bit thicker than the original one. I believe this replica comes with the MTK65A0 it does show an octa-core processor on the Antutu uh, application. It comes with built-in fingerprint. So yes, inside of this screen right here, supposedly they have added the technology that we see on the original Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus, which is really exciting. And uh, yeah, we do have there the cutout for the screen. There you guys can see the punch hole. I think that this is just for decoration, but the extra camera is over here on the very top. And that creates a little difference in terms of design. Now this one guys has a more one-to-one -one display. It does have a little notch here. I will say a little bit bigger than the real one on the top. And on the bottom, I gotta say it's about the same. Let's go ahead and check this out and see if that's correct. Let me see if I don't need my pattern and yes I do. So anyways, here we can see it. So the original has them slightly thinner. You guys can see that right there through the light glare. And on top, it is slightly thinner as well on the real one. So anyways, let's go ahead and boot this up real quick and see what kind of boot animation we get here, guys. Keep in mind that sometimes if you don't have the original one to compare, this thing can pass as the real deal very easily. At least in the build quality, it feels nice and heavy, to be honest with you guys. Um, on the back here, we are supposed to have the logos. And yes, we do have right there the Samsung logo. We don't have the other stuff that comes with it on the back side. It doesn't say Galaxy S10 Plus. So far, that's the main difference. There we can see the cameras. Now, this one comes with only one camera, which is an 8 megapixel sensor. And on the front, we also have one camera, which is the 5 megapixel sensor. Anyways, guys, here we can clearly see the bezels again on the top and the bottom. But I can tell you guys that this is by far one of the best replicas that I've seen out there. And I'm talking about YouTube. I did my own little research. I have seen replicas. The back looks very close to this one. However, the front does have some big bezels on here. Uh, the main claim about this particular device is the fact that we have a fingerprint scanner. But now, let's just go ahead and set it aside here for a second and see what else comes inside of the box. So we get here the charger simulating to be the real deal. But this is not, of course, the original charger from Samsung. It feels a little bit lighter. Then we get here the USB Type-C cable. We get the SIM opening tool together with the replicas. I believe this is the replicas of the NKG earphones, if I mentioned that correctly. So again, these are not the real deal, but you guys can see right here that it does have the barcodes and all the logos simulating it to be 
So I'm assuming that this is one of the best replicas right now available out there guys something i almost forgot to mention here is that right underneath the lid of the replica box we do have the manuals just like we see here on the original galaxy s10 box i forgot to mention that but the booklets are a little bit different they're just a uh, basically a piece of paper right here you guys can see that so nothing major going on again let me set all this aside and now that we have this replica outside of the box let's go ahead and take this opportunity to compare the original which is again the one from AT&T with the replica and here from the sides we can see that the bonding rockers are located exactly on the same position as well as the Bixby key we got here the antennas this one appears to be a little bit thicker and that's because it has a 3500 million battery and I'm talking about the replica. On the bottom side here, we can see that the 3.5 millimeter headphone jacks are located exactly in the same position. However, guys, this one seems to be a little bit wider and you can notice it here from the antenna. So I will have to say that this is not, at least size wise, it is not 100% a one-to-one, -one, but it's very close. You got here the main microphones with the loudspeaker. I believe this one only has a single speaker, unlike the original Galaxy S10 Plus comes with two speakers. So just keep that in mind. Then here on the right side of the device, we got the power key. And on top here, we have the SIM trays. Once again, we can see the antennas don't quite match. We got here the secondary microphones and uh, that's pretty much it on the back side here guys we get here something very similar when it comes to the camera however this one only has one camera which is the one on the very far right with the led flash we can see there the fake heart rate sensor it is missing the galaxy s10 plus logo but keep in mind guys that they can add this at any moment it is really easy for them to do but the back at least design wise looks super super similar now let's go ahead and try here the case from my original S10 Plus. You guys can see that it fits perfectly well. We're going to try to fit it here with the replica and see if it does fit. And honestly guys, it is a little bit wider, just like I mentioned before. It does fit, but it's very uncomfortable on there. So for that reason, they included this extra case, which is big on the real deal. And there we can see that now it fits perfectly well. At least they were nice enough to include this. But anyway, setting this aside, now let's go ahead and check and see the operating system. So again, this is running Android 9.0. It has the MTK65A0, 3500 million battery. I believe the GPU is the Mali 400. So when it comes to processing and GPU power, it is not going to be the best. Also, it only has one gigabyte of RAM and eight gigabytes of internal memory, but they have tricked it to say other information when it comes here to the operating system. And when you go to the Antutu benchmark test or even Geekbench, it will give you that fake information as well. So here guys, getting a look at the OS, we're going to see how similar it is to the original Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. So here we have them. At least look here at the gallery applications. They look very, very close. Everything, the fonts, the app sizes, everything looks super similar. And the same thing goes here. If you swipe up, it'll take you to the app drawer. I believe that on this one, yes, both of them, they scroll to the side here. So again, we can see how similar they are in terms of software. Like I said, guys, the only difference so far is the fact that, well, this one is a little bit bigger in size, but also the bezels. That's the main difference, but keep in mind that this one also comes with bezels. They're just a little bit thicker here on the replica. Supposedly, this one has a 6.4 inch display. Um, let's go ahead and check here the settings real quick, and let's do the same thing here on the Galaxy S10. And this is where things... Uh, change slightly a bit you can see the fonts display it looks a little bit red on camera but in real life it actually looks normal to me honestly this is the one that looks red in real life at least for my eyes but through the camera it looks whiter so again we can see also that the side bezels using this white background are a little bit thicker on the replica but like I said before guys it is very very close look at that hole punch right here for the cameras by the way, I think I mentioned that already, but they are fake. But just look at the similarities. 
they are super super close let's go here into about device and you can see it gives you here even model number information again the android supposedly this is the marshmallow <laughs> there we go so it is not a true android pie as they mentioned it is Andrew Marshmallow, but at least, uh, you know, could have been KitKat, which is a lot worse. I don't have a lot of complaints there. Let's go here into maintenance. And uh, I shut down here my Galaxy. Let me turn it on real quick. This is, again, guys, just a brief comparison. And uh, let's go back here to the fingerprint side. This is what really intrigued me getting this device was the fact that now it has fingerprint capabilities. So I think we go here into security, we go into screen lock, and then we set it up to fingerprint. Okay, so let's go here. Um, let's do swipe, let's do fingerprint, and let's do just anything here. Let's click continue, and then let's click confirm. And now let's hit record here my thumb. And if this is real, guys, I'll be super impressed, I'm telling you. There we go, it says screen lock fingerprint. Now let's go here into the main page and it did unlock, let's try that again. Okay, this is the one that I recorded. Let's try the one that I didn't record. And no guys, this is fake. It does unlock here with my left thumb. So now the on-screen fingerprint is just, uh, I guess it's just a trick of the actual display. So it doesn't have the fingerprint capabilities so for that I would recommend that if you guys do get this thing just use a pattern or a password do not use the fingerprint it is a hundred percent fake but I'm pretty sure guys that before you know it they will come with an updated replica hopefully some better processor and they will make that on-screen fingerprint I'm telling you they don't give up and they'll just perfect it to make you believe that you are getting the real deal guys these things are getting better and better so far this is the best one that I've seen on YouTube and even online everywhere you go this is by far the best one so let's go ahead and check here the camera real quick and uh, there we go the camera's a little bit choppy it doesn't compare in any way to the real Galaxy S10 Plus let's open it right here and there you guys can see that well the user interface is also different it doesn't look anything like the real Galaxy and this one again doesn't have any stabilization the camera is not going to be as good guys and that is suspected this is a $100 replica I believe or $110 approximately so yes the quality is not going to be the same and again this video is intended for you guys to become aware that they are out there and they are getting better and better so with this being said guys I think that now we have completed here the unboxing and a quick comparison of the fake Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus the Huawei Mate 20 Pro is coming next so make sure that you guys stay tuned thank you for watching this video continue subscribing like comment and share and I'll see you guys on my next one